Hey guys, it's NK Cubed, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to put together my uh, 1x2x3 puzzle because a couple of people have asked for that and it's not the simplest thing. It should be okay to put together right after it comes off the print bed. Um, <clears throat> this is one of the earlier prototypes that I made and so I had to do a little bit of sanding on here to make it a little bit looser, but the newer version is a lot more loose than this one was, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, the first thing you're going to want to do is slide these edge pieces onto these two uh, centerish pieces. I don't know what you want to call them, but slide them on like that. And then you take these two, you put them together, and you twist it halfway, like such as this. Now you're going to want to look for uh, a little hole. Let me see if I can show you that a little bit better. You can see in there, sort of, there's a little hole. Let me see if I can get the light right. Yeah, like right, right there, there's a hole. Once you find that, you're gonna wanna take your screw and you're gonna need a small screw like this one. You can see it's, it's pretty small. It's about M3. I think it might be a little bit smaller than that. Anyhow, you take that screw and you're gonna put it in there in the hole uh, there you go I got it and then you're gonna want to take your small screwdriver and you're gonna need a screwdriver with which has a, a, a long finished shaft like this one <laughs> because uh, in the newer version I made these uh, fillets here a lot smaller So yeah, you screw that in. And then you have your puzzle. Let me make that a little bit tighter. So yeah, this this is the original, uh, I think it was, it wasn't my uh, first version. I think this was like my third version or something. And you can see these pieces are really loose. So I decreased this, the size of this fill it in here so it uh, turns a little bit better. So it turns a little bit better, but it's a little bit harder to get your screwdriver in there. So you're gonna have to find a screwdriver, <laughs> which works with that. I guess I'll take this puzzle outside. Um, so now that you know how I how to uh, assemble your puzzle, this is what mine ended up looking like. Um, and I'm really happy with how it looks. Uh, I, I actually cut the stickers out of um, vinyl sheeting with, uh, What's it called? Cricut? I think Cricut or something like that. Uh, I, I borrowed a machine from some, someone to let me use it. Um, and so the stickers look really nice and professional. At least I think so. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the, the uh, finish. I actually uh, made this puzzle because uh, I forgot what their username is or whatever, but they bought a seed puzzle for me and they're like, hey, can you make me a 1x2x3? And I was like, I mean, I guess if you pay me money to make you a 1x2x3, I can make you one. Um, and so they did. And uh, I went along making my seed puzzles or whatever. And then they're like, hey, actually, could you make me a 2x2x1 two two as well? And I was like, well, uh, I may be able to make you one, but I'm not sure I have, I have time or whatever. Anyhow, so uh, that, that, that got drawn out or whatever, but, uh, in the end, I ended up making this puzzle for them, and, um, and along with another puzzle which I have off of camera, but, um, this is the seed puzzle that I made for them. I actually do have it, in case you're wondering, or, like, in case you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, I have the, but I made them a, a one by two by three. And, uh, I really like how this one by two by three, uh, looks but I also really like how it turns because it's not like like perfect because just because of the mechanism that I use it's like uh, let me see, it's really simple um, so it's really easy to print or whatever if you really want a nice turning 1x2x3 two what you should do is get a 2x2 uh, two two and then bandage it I mean wow, bandage bandage it because uh, then it'll have like really nice corner cutting or whatever but with this mechanism that's a pretty much the best turning that you can get. If you want to make this, you can actually uh, download the files and print it off on your printer. It's really simple, and I made the tolerances really big, and so these pieces can uh, 
the, you don't really need any sanding or anything other than on the outside if you want it to look nicer. Um, and so, yeah, you can check out the files down there. Um, I'm probably also going to put a sticker template there because uh, uh, so you can cut them out and it can look just like mine. But yeah, the last, that, that's my uh, 2x2x1. If you want, if you guys want me to make a, a 1x2x3 or like a 1x2x4 or something like that, one of those simple puzzles, definitely tell me in the comments below. Um, I'd love to uh, get some feedback from you guys as to any like small cuboids that you'd want me to make. Because I like making small cuboids actually. But yeah, uh, definitely like and subscribe because... Uh, and hit, hit the little notification bell because I just finished making a bunch of puzzles over uh, Thanksgiving break and so there's going to be a lot of a lot of quality videos that are going to be coming out soon oh and also I just bought a new camera so this is going to be one of the last one of the last videos that I'm going to record in this old camera yes <laughs> that's really exciting for me um but yeah uh, that, that's that's all for today or all, all, yeah, not, not all for today for me, but it's all for today for you. So I hope you are satisfied. Not, not outside right now, like, I, I recorded the other part of the video before it was snowing outside.